like that, she says to me I can't help but feel the subtleties So if it all expires, I guess the date's not what it seems But I can't help it, boy, she says to me I'm not sure I truly gave my best Hey out there, hope you're super well. I'm actually out in Pincher Station. It's a little, uh, I guess it's like a suburb maybe, uh, a little uh, side community uh, close to Pincher Creek, which is about two hours south of Calgary and a little west maybe, uh, just kind of close to Crow's Nest um, Pass uh, in the mountains, which are just west of here, uh, although it's a little cloudy so you can't really see it. Uh, yeah, today's trip is just to to down a pincher to photograph some old uh, sort of elevators and then there's a few um, abandoned houses that I kind of want to hit west of here um, just down the highway so that's uh, that's what I'm working on this morning so um, just the elevators behind me and then I think there's some other sort of industrial stuff I'll try to photograph over there so um, just gonna get my camera out of the car and start going because uh, there's forecast for rain actually and so kind of want to hit some stuff before it starts to come down but still feel like a guest and if I've made just one mistake it's not speaking with my chest Maybe I'll just cry a little less The tension headaches always get to me Often leave me dazed and wondering So do you mind if we rewind? Cause my mind's on other things But I'm not sure you'd find them interesting Maybe I should practice how I feel Instead of trying to reinvent the wheel I know I overcomplicate but simplicity surreal It doesn't seem... Okay, so yeah, just, uh, just so you know, this is actually an old uh, fertilizer elevator but uh, rather than a grain elevator um, Same sort of deal uh, except they were used to store fertilizer and then um, distributed that out to farmers um, who were customers of the pool. Uh, yeah, so I'm just photographing this now, kind of working different sides, trying some shots with uh, a little bit of uh, sort of grassy uh, weeds in the foreground. Uh, just trying to do different things. Some things a little bit more creative, something a little bit more standard. So I'm um, looking for some puddles right now. Uh, that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna just drive around. Um, so I'll show you the uh, shots of the elevator that I took now. To me, too big a deal. I'm sorry if this all feels like a game. Maybe this whole quarantine's to blame. And I don't know if you still love me, but I still feel the same. For what it's worth, that's how I feel today So will I float like leaves do in the wind? Or will I sink as soon as I jump in? Okay, and then I'm just gonna quickly drive and uh, there's a few other little things here that I'm gonna photograph. Maybe do a little bit of uh, rolling B-roll from the car window. Um, and then I'll show you the other shots from uh, Pincher Station before I get going. Um, on a schedule, and I got a long, a uh, lot of driving to do, so that's the plan. Hang on. So yeah, just down here, I'm gonna jump back on the highway and head uh, a little further west and uh, see if I can track down those two houses. I might stop in a couple of towns real quick, but I'm um, gonna fly to get back to Calgary before 
um, before it's too late. So um, gonna hit the highway. Uh, on the way to those uh, abandoned properties I mentioned, uh, stopped in Cali to just photograph the little main street and uh, hear the shots from it in a second. But after this, after I throw these up, I'll just uh, head out of town and hit that building. So yeah, here here are the main street Cali shots. <laughs> to my destination the old abandoned right house right behind me it's looking really moody right now uh, which is great although it's starting to spit a little bit so still working fast um, I wish I I was thinking when I was driving out here um, between Pincher and here that uh, it took more time um, but I tend to go super fast and just kind of rip through stuff which is why I don't spend tons of times on these videos either is just I'm moving so fast um, trying to get to these locations they're so far away then you know I've got a series of places to stop at and so just it's it's a it, in a way it's a speed game for me uh, I enjoy doing it that way even though it's maybe not the uh, the best way anyway I'm gonna start photographing this place behind me So I'm actually pretty surprised. There's a lot of rich greens this morning. It's actually a really still day. Uh, no bugs either, which is kind of cool. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm trying to get a sort of a, I can't trespass, it's fenced off and there's a no trespassing sign. Um, but I'm trying to get an angle where the sort of, um, sort of a front angle with the house sort of entering into the image so that it's not, I don't like my entrance or my front, um, on the wrong side of the image. I like it into the middle. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do basically. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just a wide open, low aperture. Um, it's cloudy enough that you can't see the mountains, so I'm not too worried about the background. And I'm just trying to get all the beautiful, rich color in. Um, it's just beautiful this morning. So uh, while I'm shooting abandoned houses, it's almost, it's almost as much as a landscape as anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep shooting. And then I'll, um, I guess I'll throw these uh, images of this spot up right now. And then I'm going to try to get another spot in um, before it starts raining. Still looks like rain, although it hasn't really done anything more than drip so far. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here's these uh, shots from this place here. Hope you like these ones. Hope you enjoyed those. I'm about to jump in my car and hit the highway and uh, get to that last spot um, before heading back to Calgary. So yeah, hang around. Uh, from Google Maps, it looks like the next one's a pretty cool spot too. Um, might be better to come on a day when it's a little clearer so the mountains are uh, sort of providing a backdrop to these. Um, but it's great to do them in multiple scenarios with uh, sort of moody versus uh, sunny. Uh, it's just, that's what photography is all about. It's about um, 
all kinds of uh, different uh, angles, all kinds of different compositions, all kinds of different uh, settings as far as uh, the weather and, and all that goes. So, like I said, gonna get in my car and uh, get going. When the roads illuminate, will you lament the paths you did not take? Okay, I'm at my last stop. It was raining for a bit uh, on the way, so I was almost gonna head home, but then I thought, what the hell, I'm down here anyway. So, um, just kind of on the side of the highway, just gonna snap a few shots, actually. I'm not going down there. No trespassing signs again. Uh, and it's probably not safe, and sometimes when you're on your own, it's better not to go. So just um, showed a couple of clips of what I'm looking at. So I'm going to take some photographs now, and then I'm going to hit the highway, and I'm going to get out of here. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned. I'll um, throw those photos up now. Hope you enjoyed those. I actually find this location wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, normally you'd get the mountains in the background like I said earlier. Um, today it's too cloudy for that. Um, also cool to be cloudy and moody but um, no mountain backdrop. I think I might try this location again. Uh, it's Just on its own it's not good enough I don't think. It's just not an interesting enough subject and I can't get any closer. Uh, so I think it really does need the mountain backdrop to give it that sort of uh, that little something extra. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this and um, we will see you on the next one. Hope you stay well wherever you are. Take care. <laughs>